just through the two interceptions and, and what you think you did right on those plays against that? Um, the first one just playing my coverage. Uh, we was in two, and there was a tip pass, and you know the motto is tips and overthrows. We got to get those, so I was able to get my hands on that one. And the second one, uh, I think it was in three deep, and I just made, broke on the ball, and I just seen the ball and I high pointed it, um, and was able to make a play. So just trying to build on that. How was that for you? That uh, felt good, um, but you know what's next? That's kind of the mentality we try to bring. Um, so I was just ready for the next play. The one Saturday night, did that kind of? Make you feel like, hey, I'm starting to get it all here, or what? Just playing ball, man. I mean, I ain't, I ain't really have no, no special feeling. It was, you know, I'm out there to make plays, and that's my job, and that's what I try to do. Your initial, your initial thoughts on playing with uh, Jeremy Chin back there? He's moving to a different position. Uh, what are your thoughts on him as a player initially? Um, real versatile. Um, brings good energy to practice. He definitely amps me up and helps me get ready to go. So, you know, it's good to have guys like that in the back end. I know you had some interaction with fans just being there on Saturday night and a little bit here at camp. How have they kind of gravitated towards you, especially the ones who are South Carolina fans, knowing you from back in college? Uh, there's a lot of love. You know, like you said, a lot of the guys, um, from South, a lot of the fans from South Carolina, so dating back to college, they, they've been supporting me. So, you know, I feel, feel the love from the fans, and, you know, it's just great vibes all around. Matt, talk to us about you having a great game, day, but having to make sure you're not grabbing too much. Mm -hmm. Will that be part of the transition as, as you come to, to the next level? Yeah, I mean, I try not to overthink it. I mean, I just try to focus on it, you know, take the coaching and work on it. But, you know, I definitely don't want to overthink it and let, let it get me out of my game. So I'm just play ball. Because your uh, physical nature is what you're all about. I mean, is that what you're saying? Like, you don't want to, like, dumb it down too much, I guess. Yeah, but, you know, I definitely need to work on it. I definitely need to um, keep my hands out of there, but also – still bring the physical mindset and the physical attitude to the game. How much does the even keel strategy kind of come from the top down? It seems like they help you don't get too high or too low. Uh, it helps a lot. You know, it's the NFL. So it's going to be days you get beat. It's going to be days you make plays. Uh, you just got to stay on one level uh, every day and just try to get better every day. And that's kind of the mindset I'm trying to have. Do you feel any pressure being the first round pick coming in here, especially with camp starting off? No, I mean, my, my dad played in the league. He was four-time pro bowler. so. Pressure ain't nothing new to me. I'm just ready to ball. That being said, has there been anything in camp that's been different or more than you anticipated? Nah, not really. Um, still been football. You know, I, I spoke on it a little bit. Uh, can think a couple of days ago, the offense. You just got to learn more of the offense. Um, but that's really the only difference to me. As good, well as you played here in the early going, Will it be another level for you, especially when the pads come on, given how you play this game? Yeah, that's, that's when we get the real football. So I'm excited to put the pads on tomorrow and uh, get out here and go to work. JC, Coach had you guys for a pretty good amount of time before practice. All what was his message, and uh, what do you think of his style so far? For uh, I love it. You know, it was we coming off off day. Uh, he just tried to get the guys together and, you know, make sure we bring that energy. Um, and I feel like the, the defense did that. On a day like today, when you saw the defense making plays and creating turnovers, What's that maybe show you and have you more excited for the season for what y'all can do on that side of the ball? Uh, it definitely gets you excited um, for the season. And, you know, we show flashes of what we can do, but it's not just one day. We got a lot more practices left. Uh, the offense may come out here and have their days. So we just got to keep working and uh, keep stacking good days on top of each other. What do you think of uh, Chen's nickname, Baby LeBron? Oh, I ain't, I, that's the first time I heard of it, but he, he is big and athletic just like LeBron, so I'm cool with it. <laughs> I mean, when you get that kind of praise to a, a superstar like that, especially in another sport, what's that mean for an athlete? Um, it means a lot. I mean, it just shows what type of player he is and uh, how athletic he is and what type of guy he is. Is it nice to have days like today? Does that, like, help your confidence as a rookie when he put together the practice like he did today? Uh, yeah, you know, but also, I just, I just, like I said, I try to stay even because, you know, it's the NFL. You're going to get beat, too. So, um, but it definitely helps to come out here and, get my hands on a few balls and um, you know, just play good football.